Just beyond Schlieveleig is the small, unassuming island of Rathen O'Byrne. And during the 1970s, this island housed a little-known secret. Ireland's only nuclear lighthouse. Maybe I shouldn't see the funny side of it, but I kind of do. That back in the late 1970s, when I was a teenager with my free Nelson Mandela and my C&D badge, and I was rooting for Christy Moore and the, the gang down Carnesore Point, who were all protesting against nuclear power, I was oblivious, as were most of us, that all the while they were banging that drum and campaigning and everything else, unknowns to most of us, this fella here was nuclear powered and going blink, blink, blink. Peter McGonagall worked at the lighthouse as an attendant until he retired in the early 1990s. I haven't been on that island since 1995. Get away. And how does she look now, the lighthouse? It looks... It looks oh, it looks... It hasn't changed a bit anyway. <laughs> From the time it came into operation in 1974 until it was decommissioned in 1987, it was the world's most powerful light powered by a nuclear generator. So, what did it look like? Well, it was in a massive, big, closed container with metal around the outside of it, and uh, there was concrete, and concrete casing inside it, and some other material as well. But the small package for the job was encased in all that. In 1987, after 13 years in operation, the nuclear generator was deemed insufficient to power the Rathlin O'Byrne Lighthouse, and it was decommissioned. Ireland's only step into the atomic age had come to an end. Everything was taken away to a, a place in England. And disposed of, disposed of safely, we hope. <laughs> well, yeah. hopefully. Most people didn't realise this was nuclear incident, no, did they? I heard an argument between two oil fellas in the pub one night that we're talking about nuclear and uh, this shouldn't be done, that shouldn't be done, and one oil fellas said to the other fellow, what are you talking about? He says, yeah, that's out there, what's running the light on the island? <laughs> and the other fellow didn't know, no? <laughs> the other, so there would have been a lot of people like him. So it might have been nuclear, but it went under the radar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening. Did you ever try living anywhere else, Pete? No. Never? Not yet, anyway. No. Uh, the night is young. <laughs> <laughs>